Hello my DIY friends, Jeff here again. We have a good video for you here today and I know why you're here. You're probably here because you have a leak in your sink drain, in your kitchen sink drain. So you've probably got water dripping down from this point here. It's coming down from up above on the sink drain and it's leaking down through your gasket and running down the pipe. Well today we're going to show you how to fix that so let's hop right into it. Okay, so this is the part that we're going to replace that drain with. This is our new kitchen sink strainer drain. So it comes with the new strainer and the part that goes up top with the flange on it. And it also comes with the bottom part with the nut and with your gasket and the cardboard piece that, that goes under the gasket. So this is everything you need for under $10. Very cheap replacement. All right, so this is my wrench of choice whenever I do these kind of changes. Uh, this is called the uh, universal sink wrench here. And what I like about this one is that this one fits all the way around this nut. See how you got that big nut there? So you just find the, the, how it locks right in, and then you just tighten the whole thing. So this gives you a lot better grip on it than some of the other ones. Some people prefer to take a screwdriver and hammer it in, but I don't recommend that. Because if you're hammering this thing, it's going to tend to knock it out of position up top after you put all of that um, plumber's putty on there. And then this is the other wrench, and I'll put a link to both of these down in the description for you. Um, but the other wrench here is the same way. This just kind of latches on here like this. So this is actually a three-way wrench that I normally use also because it's got a cutout here to use the plastic wing nuts on your P-trap. Uh, so this can go this way too, and this is another easier way to uh, tighten it. But again, this one I think gives you better, better ergonomics and a lot better um, mechanical advantage to make sure it's on there nice and tight. So let's go ahead and install it. Okay, so remember now, every P-trap has water in it, right? So we're just going to loosen this one here, and then we're going to loosen this one here. Right. And so we always want to put a pan down before to catch all that water. So both of these all the way up to so the water. Just want to wait till it equalizes there. And we'll loosen this one here. And you dump the water out of the bottom section. So now everything's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna loosen this nut here get this tube off of here because we're going to take off this whole drain part here. So now that the tube is out of the way, we can now fit our wrench and loosen the old one. up the drain from underneath and it comes right up, just like that. See? So now we have to clean off all of this right here, all of this plumber's putty. We have to clean it off nice and good. Okay, so we are using this, uh, I prefer to use the stainless plumber's putty, that's just my policy. Wherever I go, I always use stainless. Um, on the stainless steel, it's probably not as good of an issue as it would be on a, on a marble. Take it about a golf ball size and you roll it up into a bead here, about a half inch, and you start wrapping it around the flange of the drain here, like that. And you do the same thing with the other piece. You make two pieces. And make sure there's no, you can't tell where there's a seam. 
and come back over here to this side and we fill this one. So you, there's two ways to do this. You can either do it on the flange directly like this, or you can do it right here on the rim of the, where the drain goes here on the sink. Either way, you want to make sure this is nice and clean first. Okay. So now we're, we have our finished drain basket here, and we're going to take this and put it down. But before I do that, I just wanted to point out to you to remember that when you go to screw the pipe back on to the bottom of this, make sure that you're, they call this the hi-hat gasket washer. Make sure that this hi-hat is on there and that it goes like, just like you see it there, okay? Very important when you're doing the pipe there. Make sure that you have that on there. But anyway, let's put this down in here. And then I just push it down and see how it, it oozes out. Make sure it's nice and centered. If you have any text, like a brand name on there, make sure it's facing the front of the sink here. And you just... Push it down there. So once it's all tightened and everything, then we'll scrape all of the uh, excess putty. But I don't do anything until I have it tightened down. I want to make sure he's seated down into the valley there, into the cutout, and that when we tighten it down, it, it should pull it all the way down. You'll see even more ooze out as we tighten it. Okay. So there's how it's going to look here before we tighten it down. And when we start to tighten, you'll see more of the plumber's putty here oozing around. Okay, so here's the way we're going to attach this now. On the underside of the drain, under the kitchen sink drain, we're going to put this black gasket on first, and then underneath it, from the bottom, will come the cardboard washer, and then we'll tighten this by hand, and once it's on good by hand, we'll tighten it really nice and good with the wrench. Now, I always make sure that we have no plumber's putty here. No, any, I try to, if there's any excess that came in from up top, I try to make sure it's all gone, because you don't need it, you have the gasket here. So we put the gasket on first, right? And then after the gasket comes the cardboard washer. And now we can start screwing on the nut here. Okay, so now we just go around and we take off the excess plumber's putty. And you want to make sure you get in there and scrape it all good. You don't want to see any of the putty when you're done. Remember here, you're going to take your hi-hat washer, stick it right in the top of the pipe, and then we can screw this onto the bottom of the drain. Okay, so this will go over here.
All right, so now we're going to join these two together. Now, you can see how it's important to have this thing perfect, like absolutely perfect. Because if this is off, like let's say the alignment's off, see how this, the water can slip out right there. Because this joint is going to be underwater, as I mentioned before. So we have to make sure that that's really perfect there. We're gonna just loosely tighten them together for now. And once we get the whole thing together, we'll do a final tighten on it. Stop. Okay, so now we're going to put the trap into the waste pipe there and onto the bottom here. Now it's important to remember there that you want to push it in all the way up to the stop. Okay, so you see how the gasket comes in here and it seals around the thread there like that? And so we're not going to, we're just going to loosely start it. We're not going to tighten it yet because this is the one that's the most important one to me. I want to make sure that he is absolutely level. I'm going to unscrew him again and take a look at him. See, because he's not really lined up that good. So I want to pull him back out a little bit. You want to make sure these two are just absolutely perfectly level like that, see? Then you can run your nut back down. Now I'm going to tighten this one. This is the most important joint because it's the one that is the most finicky and it has to be fully lined. So I tighten as much as I can with my hand. Tighten this one first and he's satisfied. Now we're going to tighten these other two. So these two have the, the rubber gaskets on them, those washers. And so they'll tighten up pretty good on their own, um, pretty easily. Just do about a quarter of a turn, like that. And if it'll let us in that way or if we have to come in from the bottom. Okay, so those are in nice and tight. So now we're ready to turn on the water. Okay, what I usually do is I set the water on hot because I want to run hot water through here for a few minutes to get everything expanding and and get them all used to each other, I'll get all the parts to say hello and everything, get acquainted. So let's do that. And we'll watch for any leaks. Okay, so there I've let the water run for a few minutes now. It's coming through, it's all hot water at this point. And as we look up top here, there's no moisture around the drain, which is a good sign. That means we sealed it up nice. And we've solved the link up here at the kitchen drain. But our testing is not done yet. All right, so now that we know that at least with the water running in it, we're doing okay. What I want to do now is fill up the sink with water and let the whole thing go. That's another good test to do here for your leaks. Right, so I put the plug in there and we'll let the kitchen sink basin fill up with hot water here. And then we'll release the water and let it flush down the drain and down into the P-trap. And we'll see if that rush of water makes it through okay. Okay, so our basin is filled with hot water. And now we're going to let it all go. Just watch it rush through there, through the P-trap. So it's all done. So now after a little bit you'll see some of the water settle back here. See how it's the little air bubble up top there is growing? It's setting the, the level of the weir. So the weir is what we call this top level of the water here. Now in this particular case we would actually like to see it a little lower. And the reason why it's not, uh, this should be up higher, but there's really not much you can do right here because of the way the plumbing was uh, done here. The pipe comes out horizontal from the wall. You really should have a little bit of a decline down towards the wall. Not a lot, only a quarter of an inch um, 
per 12 inches. So, but you can at least see it. You can at least get the air behind water. So you can see now here, from looking at this, you can see why you sometimes will have water leaking out of this nut because this whole column right here is underwater. This column right here from the weir to the upper dipper, the upper dip right here. So from this column right here is what protects you from all the methane gases coming in from the sewer system, from the drain. The gases are right up to this point right here and then the water stops it. This column of water is what stops it. So sometimes when you winterize your house and you leave and this evaporates and that's why you can smell sewer gases when you come back if that evaporates and you just fill it right back up with water again by running the water for a few seconds here. But so you can see the water level is like probably right around in here up to here, right? So anyway, there's no drips, but we're not quite out of the woods yet and I'll show you why. So I always like to put a little piece of paper towel under it, or you can also use newspaper, and it will let you know if there is a leak, if, even if a drop of water comes down. Because just because we ran this test and flooded it and everything and it works, doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet, because now the long-term test comes over a few hours, or even overnight, is any water going to leach out of this connection right here? Because this connection on your P-trap outlet, where it meets the P-trap arm, is underwater so we want to make sure that that's not leaching out overnight so that's the part you have to monitor now to make sure you're okay All right so we'll let that go and let it run overnight and we'll come back and check on it tomorrow okay so now that this leak is done I think our mission here is complete and we have the P trap in place here so if you like this video we would appreciate if you give us a thumbs up down below it lets us know that you like us and then don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can come back and watch over 200 videos that we have uploaded covering all sorts of failures and repairs around your house and all sorts of remodeling ideas for you. And then when you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that little gray bell icon so that you'll be alerted whenever we upload a video and you will never miss a single video. So that's it for this week, folks. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.